y'all, it's Laura, and I'm back with a scrap lift Sunday layout. We're lifting that gorgeous layout that you saw earlier of Lauren Henders, and it had a really fantastic, soft, painty background and a floral explosion. And you know I am all about the floral explosion moments, so I definitely wanted to jump on that bandwagon and lift this layout. Now I'm using the Prima Metallic Watercolor Set here, and I started with this kind of a coppery color one, and in intended to make this fairly light, but then my very last stripe came out a little too dark. So then I went back and darkened all of them, and in retrospect, I wish I had stuck with a more subtle watercolor in the background. I did try to lighten it a little by using some lighter yellow and even some of the white, and that helps some, but it does end up being a little bit more prominent on the page than I had really intended it to be, and that's okay. You just kind of roll with it, you know? But. I was excited to lift this layout. It is so beautiful. A couple of things that I did not notice at first and realized as I was creating was that Lauren did have three photos, but she used two by three photos, it looks like, and I was using three by four photos. So once I had gotten them all matted onto these beautiful papers, I'm gonna mat each of them on this beautiful light pink paper first, and then two will get matted on the pink, darker pink, one will get matted on the navy. Once I got these all matted, they're all put together, I put it on my layout, taped it all down, and then stepped back to look at it, and I went, well, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much room left for floral explosions. <laughs> and that is because I think she used two by three photos and not three by fours. And it was just something that I had not noticed, that tiny detail when I started scrap lifting. Now, typically I don't use photos as small as two by threes. Uh, so that's probably why it didn't occur to me that that was what had happened. <laughs> but I'm going to tape these three photos together in roughly the same uh, little uneven pattern that she did there. So the, the top, the first photo is a little bit higher, the second photo is lower, and the third photo is kind of in the middle. And so I did that same idea, kind of a stair step look of the photos here. These are all of my daughter, Chloe. She is 13 and absolutely gorgeous. We once a year go out to the park and do a little photo session with my older three kids. My twins, it's a little harder because they just don't uh, handle that much open area and a lot of people really well. And so I tend to do their pictures kind of in the backyard, a more controlled environment where they can be more comfortable and be more likely to let me take photos. <laughs> However fleeting that is, they will occasionally let me take photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these all matted and then we'll add them on to our watercolor background. So now that that's dry, gonna add those on there. And as you can see, now it's affixed down to the page and you see where I'm, I'm coming from with that concern because all of a sudden there really isn't a whole lot of room to build that same shape of florals that Lauren had made. And I really liked the shape of her florals even though my florals are very different in color tone and more monochromatic than hers. Hers had some yellows and oranges and touches of red and green, and mine are all pink. <laughs> so I decided to bring in these vellum black flowers that were also in the Pink Paisley Auburn Lane collection and just tuck them back behind the pink florals just to give a little bit of color variation, create a kind of a shadow effect on the back of the florals because they're all the same color. I do have a very few little florals there that are kind of that cream tone and kind of that black and white look. And I'm gonna tuck those in as well, again, just to create a little bit of variation because all pink can be a little overwhelming in this respect. And I definitely wanted to have more than that. Now, on top of all of this, I also tucked in a few little leaves and they're like green leaves of different shades. And that's gonna add a little bit more movement to the page. It's gonna pull your eye out from the photo. So you're gonna see the photos because they're very bright blue and there will be no other blue on this page or not very much blue on this page. So your, your eyes definitely are drawn to the photos first. But with these leaves, these green leaves are kind of kind of spread out from there. So here you can see all the little leaves in the background breaking up that kind of blocky look of the floral arrangement. 
Now, just like the original layout, I'm gonna add a small cluster down here at the bottom right, and I have a tag and a couple of little ephemera pieces that I'm just gonna to layer together with a puffy sticker just to create this little cluster here at the bottom. Now, in retrospect, I don't know that I really needed this to be here, and I might even have lifted it up just a tad higher, but I was kind of working from the layout that Lauren had done. So I, I kind of would have moved that a little bit higher, I think, in retrospect, but it's fine. <laughs> and adding in lots of little bits and pieces, just trying to create a couple of clusters within the floral arrangement that aren't heavily, you know, separate, but they're just included in the clustering. So I've got on the left side, there's a small vellum bird that isn't really visible, heavily visible, which is good because it's a little weird looking, but it's just there. I'm getting it used. There's a little tag that I think says remember. And then on the top right side, we have a sentiment above the right side picture and a camera there. So we've created two clusters on a diagonal following the florals there. And then our third cluster is down here at the bottom. And it's just a little kind of addition there that's gonna help tie together the title with the layout. Now, initially I was gonna put the title right where Lauren put it over here on the right side, but because I didn't have a lot of room here, because my photos are bigger, remember, I do end up moving it to the kind of the center of the layout that kind of leads your eye with that large cluster of flowers down to the diagonal right. So I am going to use a mix of these large black Amy Tangerine thickers and these small pink Paisley thickers in a pink foil. And I'm going to title it, I Love You So, because I just thought that was such a sweet title. And it is absolutely true. My daughter is amazing and wonderful. And in the journaling that I will end up adding near the end, I talk a little bit about how I admire her worldview. Uh, she has a very positive worldview for the most part and that I also really admire her imagination. My daughter definitely has a vivid and wild imagination, and I think that can only help her in the future, really, especially if she goes into some sort of creative career path. And I've heard her talk a little bit about being a teacher, which of course is a very creative career path because you have to be able to come up with solutions to problems on the fly. And being able to come up with creative, imaginative solutions to those problems is definitely a gift that would be very, very helpful as a teacher, I think. <laughs> I actually went to school originally to be a teacher and decided that it was just a little bit too much paperwork and stress for me. Uh, let me tell you, teachers have to undergo a lot of stress, not only just in the classroom, but as a part of the administration. Uh, just doing all of that paperwork, doing all of the uh, you know, the little games that you play in any workplace where you have a boss and you have coworkers, it can get really tricky. And I just decided that wasn't for me. But I have great admiration for teachers and I would love for my daughter to become a teacher. She is a very, very smart girl and she could definitely do it. So now that I've got my journaling in place, I did use my journaling genie. It is the basic number one German journaling genie. If you're looking for it, I did see it on eBay recently, which it is discontinued. So finding it on eBay is pretty much your only bet in getting a hold of it. I am going to bring in some of these puffy stickers from Amy Tangerine as my scattering, mostly sticking to the black and the pink ones, which kind of tie in really well with the color scheme already happening on this layout. I do really like these little <laughs> puppy stickers, but I often forget to use them. And so I had popped them on my desk to make sure that I got to use them. And I'm also using some Antique Rose Nouveau and just kind of doing little dots all around the florals in between the branches, anywhere I thought just needed a little bit of detail work. And then I'll come in with the Heidi Swap Color Shine and splatter with that as well. Overall, this layout came out pretty cute I think but there was a moment where I wasn't sure that I liked it but I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to check out Miranda's as well her link is in the description box below along with links for most of the products that I've used anything that I can find a link to that'll be in the description as well have a great day and until next time bye